How is it going everybody Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel well finally samsung has started rolling out the much awaited one ui 7 update for the galaxy s24 users and by the time i'm making this video a lot of you might have already received this major update on your samsung phone with that being said in today's video i'll be showing you some of the first things you need to do after installing the one ui 7 on your samsung phone Guys, it's going to be a super useful video for all Galaxy users, so stay tuned and watch this video until the very end. Also, let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. With that said, drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. All right, guys. The first change you're going to notice is when you open the quick settings panel. Now, if you scroll from the top right corner, it opens the control center and when you swipe from the left side or anywhere on the screen, it shows all your notifications. Guys, you can also customize the quick settings. You just need to tap on the pencil icon. Here you can rearrange the tiles as per your need. You can place the brightness slider above the quick toggles. Or you can increase or decrease the number of rows that you want to appear for quicker access. Each and everything here is fully customizable. If you click on the panel settings, you can choose between two different layouts. Together option will give you that old quick settings along with all your notifications in a single swipe. Then there is an option that lets you access the quick settings from the left side. So this is the all new control center you get in One UI 7 and what I really liked is that not only does it look good and stands out from other Android skins but it also provides you with a lot of functionality as well. Next, let me show you a couple of home screen customizations. Did you know now you can enlarge folders to directly open applications in one click without having to open the folder first. You need to long press and you get the option to enlarge any folders that are present on your home screen. Not only this, you also get plenty of new and useful widgets in One UI 7. The best part is it lets you resize widgets in different sizes. You can make it as big as you want or change it into a pill shape to make your home screen look less cluttered. If you go into the widget section, you can see all the new and redesigned widgets that I think look really really good. Guys, when you long press and go inside the home screen settings, here you will get to see this all new layout where you can easily increase or decrease the app icons and widget size by simply using this slider. You also get separate toggles to enable or hide the apps and widgets labels too. Previously in One UI 6, it was not integrated inside the home settings, but now you can change all of these without the help of Goodlock app on your phone. In One UI 7, you can also customize the app drawer. Now Samsung lets you choose between the vertical or horizontal view. Just tap on the three dots button and change the order from custom to alphabetical. Now you'll have access to the vertical drawer which we all have been waiting for a long time on Samsung phones. In case you're not comfortable with this, you can go back to the horizontal view by selecting the custom order. One more thing that I really liked in this redesigned app drawer is that you get the search bar at the bottom which is more comfortable and easier to access, especially when you have bigger phones. Now let's talk about one of my favorite features and that has to be the now bar. When you play any music on your phone, you can see this pill shaped now bar in your lock screen with music controls. And when you tap on it, you get a bigger preview with the album art and I think it looks really cool on the lock screen. You know what's more exciting is that it also works for other activities like voice recordings, timers, maps, Bixby routines and it even shows live cricket or football scores as well. So you can swipe over different activities and the best part is it also shows up in the status bar from where you can directly control all your live activities. Now in order to configure this now bar settings, go to the lock screen and AOD, select now bar. Here you can choose what type of activities you want to get appear in your now bar. Sports from Google will show you live cricket or football scores. Then we have got media player, maps, Samsung health, voice recording, Samsung notes and more. So depending on your requirement, you can enable or disable the activity right from here. Did you know Samsung has enhanced the settings search with AI on One UI 7? Now instead of typing the exact keyword, in order to search anything inside the settings menu, you can type or give a voice prompt using simple language and the AI will understand the user's intent and provide relevant results based on what you just searched. For example, if I simply type my eyes are hurting, it's gonna provide me with options to turn on the eye comfort shield, reduce the brightness or enable the dark mode. So the search has gotten a lot smarter after installing the One UI 7 update.
Well, if you love playing games on your Samsung phone, then there is one really cool feature that I found after installing the One UI 7. You simply need to go inside advanced features. Here when you scroll down, you get game booster settings. Once you go inside, you will get this option called customization for individual games. It will show the list of games you have installed on your phone. Just tap on any game you want to configure and here you can see there are four different options. Game optimization, FPS, screen resolution and frame booster. So it's a brand new feature that lets you adjust some really important game related settings for each game individually. You can adjust the FPS, change the screen resolution, activate the booster mode and configure your favorite games individually as per your preference. So if you are playing games on your phone, then don't forget to make use of this amazing game booster feature which they have added in the One UI 7. As you guys might already notice that the animations got a lot better in One UI 7. They feel extremely smooth and fluid compared to One UI 6 and if you really want to take these animations to the next level, then I will suggest you to install the Home Up module inside the GoodLock application. Guys, it's a must have module for all the One UI 7 users and I'll make sure to drop a direct link in the description below. Once installed, now you don't even have to go inside the GoodLock app. Instead, you can just go into the home screen settings, scroll all the way down to the bottom and here you will see more customization options. Simply go inside and it will open up the home up module. Now in order to customize the animations, you need to click on gesture settings, then go inside home screen animation tuning. Once enabled, you get some built in presets such as classic, elegance, dynamic and sweet. If you want to make the animations a bit slow but even more smoother, then you can set it as sweet. And if you select dynamic, then the animations will be much faster and gives you a more dynamic feel. So depending on your taste, you can select any preset you want. But what's more interesting here is when you select advanced tuning and go inside detailed settings, here you can literally create your own animations by individually tweaking each and every setting present here. This gives you the whole freedom to completely configure the animations. You can adjust the stiffness, increase or decrease the damping value, adjust the tracking position, increase the wallpaper scaling, add some blur when you close applications, increase the duration and do lot more. Guys, you can play around with all these settings and make the animations even more fun. Another interesting customization available inside the home up module is when you go inside home screen, here you get this brand new DIY home screen option exclusive for One UI 7 users. Once you enable this, then go back to the home screen, long press and select DIY home option. Now you can place widgets and icons anywhere you want without any restrictions. You can completely change the orientation, rotate the widgets, place icons above them, increase the size as much as you can and literally do anything with your home screen. This level of customization cannot be found on any other Android skins. And with the help of these new features, you can take customization to a whole new level. So after installing the One UI 7 update on your phone, I'll highly recommend you to install this home up module first. That's pretty much it for this video. These are the first things you need to do after installing the One UI 7 on your smartphone. If you guys like this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm Mr. Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.